<laughs> right, dude, wow, you're so much browner. You look so much more tan. Asia Fu, Samyang. So, Jen Hama. Welcome back everyone to another Tai Chi family episode. It feels very good to be back. A lot has changed in fact, so I'm gonna leave this seat and give you a bit of a tour. Yeah, so there are a lot of things that are different. So for example, Master Gu's got some shiny new chairs, which are very nice, very comfortable. Generally, the place is much, much greener. So look at the green tea, it's looking very lovely. And plants are just appearing out of nowhere that have been dead the whole winter. If you remember in the winter, it only snowed three times and didn't rain the rest of the time so literally in the month that I've been gone it's just been kind of raining on and off and it's great because nature's come alive so the birds are very active so there's lots of little bugs everywhere there's spiders when I'm going on a run having to navigate through spider webs there's even snakes I'm on a run and this whole area is infested with snakes so it makes for quite a scary run I was having fun until I saw this massive snake literally two meters away so yeah a bit scary yeah, I really shouldn't be as scared of the snakes as I am. When the snake saw me, it literally was scared out of his skin and slithered away as quickly as it could. It was more scared than I was. So this is the woods area where we train. I don't think I've actually given you a tour of this before, but this is new in the last month. So this is a little structure that Master Gu and Ben have been building. This was here before, which is just a bar. So that's been good for me. I've been doing some shoulder exercises. And then also we've got a pull-up bar. This has been here for a while. In fact, when I came back, I was doing some pull-ups and see the wires there. It's not a very strong connection. So in fact, this fell down mid pull-up and I managed to hit the back of my head quite badly and concussed myself for the day. So yeah, and then the punch bag, in fact, the branch is too weak for it. So it's just over there and we're gonna put it up soon. And finally, a new addition, which is a swing, which everyone is using. <laughs> and since I'm giving you a tour now, remember in the very first Tai Chi family intro that I couldn't even get my foot on this. Still a struggle, but I'm on there now. So yeah, flexibility is improving. Okay, and then also it's green tea picking season. So I don't know if you can see the workers over there, but they're currently picking Master Goo's green tea. We've got a video on it, but it will be out probably in a month or so. But yeah, that's it. I mean, a surprising amount has changed in the month that I've been gone. I was shocked at how different everything was. Just one month of rainfall can really change the whole place. I've had some exciting progress on my Tai Chi journey. I've moved on to the sword form. The origin of the sword in the Taoist practice, the Taoist priest uh, make use of the sword, get rid of the devil, something like that. Holy speaking, totally speaking in Chinese tradition, the scholarly people who also like martial arts, they like to, to bring sword when traveling so sword is regarded as a gentleman among old uh, martial weapons. The sword can be regarded as the length and part of your, your arm. However, Tai Chi practice requires a practicer, Tai Chi sword, you know, following the same principle. Solidity, uh, you know, firm, grounding, also the circular move. Uh, also, it requires the martial aspect because anyway, uh, the sword is a weapon. So there is martial aspect, there is wellness aspect, there is art aspect. Of course, compared with a free hand, the sword uh, practice has its own characteristic. Like uh, this is, uh, we call it Jian uh, Zhi, uh, sword finger. So while one hand is holding the sword's sword, the other hand, generally speaking, with this shape, does not have palm, does not have this, does not have 
like a fist. Generally speaking, it holds this way. Yeah. Yeah, it's still early days. It's going to take a while to make it look good. And finally, let's have some music. I see your lips, those summer kisses, those sunburnt hands I used to hold. It feels like a good old fashioned Tai Chi family episode with some music. Okay, that's it for now. Tomorrow there's going to be a small video asking you guys for your thoughts because I'm currently trying to think about what the future of this relationship is and the channel. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And here's a little taste of next week's video with Master Goop. Between heaven and earth, in the heart of the great Middle Kingdom lies legendary Mount Wudang. Right, that's all you're getting until next week. It's a fun video. Okay, and that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.